What's up guys, I'm BTC. Jeff Goodman just gave us some details on the upcoming Sombra buff and it is going to be crazy, crazy strong. I'm usually pretty accurate about my predictions for upcoming characters, ability changes, buffs, nerfs, map stuff, all those kinds of things. But never would I have guessed that the change they're going to make to Sombra is what they're about to do. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Over on the official forums, Jeff Goodman made a post telling us about the upcoming Sombra changes. He said, sure, these changes started by seeing how far we could push the duration of her stealth and translocator abilities. As we pushed them out, it allowed her to play more and more as a scout infiltrator for your team and also allowed her more time to pick and choose when and where she popped out to ambush her enemies. So now she has infinite duration on both stealth and translocator, but we had to solve a couple of problems that were caused by these changes. For one, she needed to be able to destroy the translocator or it would often be stuck in some place she didn't want it to be. To that end, you can now destroy it by looking towards it by pressing the interact key. Also, stealth giving you 75% bonus movement speed forever was a bit strong. This bonus has been lowered to 50%, which by the way is still ridiculously fast. In addition, she can no longer contest objectives while in stealth, since she would just be super frustrating with infinite duration. These changes are really interesting for her as she now is in complete control over when she reveals herself allows her to time her hacks better for her team or go for a backline ambush during a critical moment in a team fight. I guess that was more than a hint. These changes are going to be incredibly powerful, but at the same time, they're gonna be problematic. Let me explain. I used to play a lot of Team Fortress 2, like a real, real lot of Team Fortress 2. And the character class that I mostly played was the Spy, and I was really good at Spy. But there was also a whole lot of really bad spies. And what the bad spies would often do is they would just stealth and basically hide. They would like constantly go to the back line behind the enemy team and they would be invisible and they wouldn't do anything. They were always waiting, waiting, waiting for that optimal moment to come out and get some kills. They were simply taking themselves out of the fight for a prolonged period of time. It was almost as if they were just standing in the spawn room. They weren't adding anything. And I think one of the problems that we're gonna see with this change to Sombra is there's gonna be a lot of inexperienced players who are doing just that. They're going to stay invisible and they're going to constantly wait and wait and wait for the optimum time that just kind of never happens. Also, to answer a question that I'm sure a bunch of you are thinking about right now, it doesn't seem like the translocator is going to be destructible by the enemy team. It's only going to be destructible by Sombra herself in that specific way that Jeff Goodman explained. This is going to kind of add a new element to the game though, because if there is a Sombra on the enemy team, then your team is now going to have to do something which is known as spy checking. And in Team Fortress 2, it was most commonly done by the Pyro because he could just spray the fire in all different directions. And if a, a spy happened to be going by, it would catch the spy on fire. So now you have infinite ammo in TF2. Basically, your team is just going to have to constantly be attacking in all random directions in order to check for the Sombra who might be there. So the infinite ammo might be a little problematic, but remember, if an enemy team has a character dedicated to spy checking on a particular hallway, then you can just use the translocator to get past it. So that's not really that big of an issue. And also, only the bad Sombras are going to stay on ground level once you have all of this infinite stealth, infinite translocator stuff. So the better Sombras are going to be using the Translocator to get up onto high ground or up into little areas or ledges and stuff where they can basically sit there and not have to worry about getting spy checked as easily. But in any case, this is not a change I would have ever expected. What do you guys think? Infinite Stealth? Infinite Translocator? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.
Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.